What did you guys feed the baby? Raisins. Oh, gross. Why? Well, babies don't eat raisins, bud. Why? Well, because they're too little and they don't have any teeth. So they might choke on the raisins, right? So we only just give babies milk. Can you get the raisins out? I can't. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have to work on your first aid techniques. Joey, no more feeding raisins to the baby, okay? I reach baby. Yeah, no more, though. So as you can see, the boys are trying to take care of their mock-up baby sisters that we gave them. If you did not see the video of us giving them to them, you can check it out here. That is old news now, but they do play with her non-stop. Both of them play with each of them and they carry them around places with them. It's crazy and cool. I really, really like that. I'm really enjoying watching them just nurture this doll in anticipation of their baby sister. So hi, I am 23 weeks and two days pregnant today. I actually did record this video yesterday, but it turned out horribly. And so though today my hair is insane, I'm going to do it again. For 23 weeks, this video is probably gonna be really short or it's gonna have a lot of content in it that doesn't have a lot to do with pregnancy because nothing really changed at all this week. I have found that the only thing that has changed that's kind of been changing for the last couple of weeks, I know that I definitely mentioned it in my 21 week pregnancy vlog, is movement, movement's changing a lot. So I told you guys that I was, you know, before 21 weeks, I was really feeling just a lot of bumps that I know were just like kicks, straight up bumps, just on my belly and that's it. And then the movement kind of changed to like actual movements where I would feel something drag across my belly and stuff like that. This week, those movements became so much more obvious, which was really, really cool. But the movements also changed in this really weird way that I didn't remember from my previous pregnancies. That's actually really annoying. So most of my movement is up at the top of my belly, but now all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of movement really low down. Like I'm talking, basically behind my pubic bone. Low enough down that you can't see it from the outside and you also can't feel it from the outside. Like I can feel it from the inside and that's it. And I think based on like my ultrasound with like James, if I'm remembering correctly, or maybe it was Joe, that it's her moving her hands around near her face or something like that, but it's so uncomfortable. I mean, it is just weird. It feels weird. It kind of makes you get like butterflies. I don't know, like you're gonna be sick when it happens. So it's not the most enjoyable of all the movement, but I mean, hey, it's pregnancy, right? So <laughs> that's pretty much it though. Everything has kind of been exactly the same as before. So I know that I mentioned to you guys, I think it was last week, but whatever week it was, there's the link, that we had gotten some clothes for the baby because obviously we don't have any like typical girl clothing. This week, um, my friend Lucy actually bought us some more clothes. And so our baby girl is working on her wardrobe from within the womb. And so I thought I would just show you guys really, really quickly for anybody who's interested. Um, first of all, there is this little outfit. It's like some striped shorts and just a cute little, you know, frilly top sleeved shirt with some flowers on it, which is really nice. This shirt here, which has flowers again, but it's in like more neutral colors. These little pants I love so much. <laughs> with boys, you really don't get tights, like cute little all different kinds of pants. It's kind of all the same kind of pants and this is neat. I mean, my, our boys do own tights, but they own them for, like James had some for gymnastics class and now they both own some so that they can wear them underneath snow pants, but tights tights that are just cute with like little ribs and different designs, never had anything like that before. So really, really excited for that. There is a pair of bright pink tights that can go with either this sweater here, which is cute. They both match or with, and this is Alex and my favorite thing, favorite, favorite thing that we own for her so far, this little farmer shirt. It's so cute. That is kind of to build up on the wardrobe that I showed you guys. I think it was last week. So I'm really, really excited for that. I think it's so weird that like these are things that are just, they're just things right now, but they're going to be things that go on a real person in the future. That's 
super weird. So speaking of Lucy, it's funny because I had told you guys so many times in the past that I was very apprehensive about raising a little girl. And I think that in the last, you know, year and a half to two years, a lot of those fears that I had really, really changed. And I'd like to make you guys a full video on that another time. But my friend Lucy was texting me, the same one who gave me all these clothes. And she said, what is it that you kind of find like the most scary or anything like that about having a girl? And I said, honestly, at this moment in time, there's just one thing that I'm finding super daunting. And I don't know, I just can't get it out of my head. When we go to the beach with the boys, we let them run naked on the beach and they play all in the sand and they're naked and they're burying each other and this and that. And then after you just kind of brush all the sand off of all of their body. For some reason, the one thing that I can't get out of my head right now is the fact that she's going to have a tiny vagina and I don't know, can you just sit those on sand? Like, doesn't the sand go up there? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about, guys. That's like my big fear about having a daughter right now. <laughs> I think Lucy's response was something like, oh yeah, spheres about things going in your daughter's vagina. And now it's sand, later it's boys. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, but I can make you guys a full video on kind of like all of my thoughts on that another time. And the reason why things have changed so much and why I was, you know, first of all, so sure I was having a girl this pregnancy. And secondly, you know, so not worried about having a girl this pregnancy. Whereas before I didn't have that confidence. Yeah, but that's for another time. Also this week, I know I mentioned last week that people had been asking for a video about like how potty training is going with Joe. And so I made you guys that video this week. And we've also been vlogging a little bit this week. If you guys follow me on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, then you know that our boys love watching themselves on YouTube. If I leave them with an iPad, they'll click through all the different videos of themselves. If I sit with them, we'll go through like our hard drive and go through all of our old videos and it's just a great memory for them that's totally different from pictures. They really, really like picture albums too though. You know, I was saying to Alex this week, I kind of feel bad that we haven't made any daily vlogs or any little videos like that lately because the videos that the boys are still watching are the ones from last August when we did our big move and we vlogged for that two weeks. And so, yeah, like I said, I don't wanna to commit to making a lot of videos or making videos every day or anything like that, but I do wanna try and throw some little short clips and like daily vlogs and stuff like that on the channel just so that the boys can look back and like have some memories of this time in their life later. So we did make a couple of vlogs this week. Here's a link to two of them so far. Yeah, I think that that's it. What else happened this week? Our house deal firmed up. So I told you guys last week that we bought a house again. Some people were commenting underneath saying, oh, I hope everything works out this time. And so yes, everything worked out. House deal is firm. Right now, our closing date is like firmly set for the end of May. If they do come back and they decide to change it for earlier, we would love that because I really really would like to move before I'm like 34 weeks pregnant But basically that would be our choice. It would be an amendment to the deal on our house Like everything is done now we're moving and I'm so excited and I want to talk all about that new house But I don't want to do that in this video. So I will make you a totally separate video about that but Basically now all it's really left to do before this baby comes when it comes to like a list of things that I was worried about having ready for her is to buy a car and so what I want to do either like sometime in the next couple of weeks, whenever we can get my in-laws to babysit or maybe, you know, right after we move is I want to have the kids go to be babysat for a couple of hours and Alex and I to just go and explore what's out there. As of right now, we're really, really thinking of getting a Mazda 5. First of all, because it comes in manual, which both of us really, really like. Secondly, because it's still like a nice compact size, whereas it's got like a lot of seats and like a little bit more storage room than our car. So... Yeah, that's the next thing on the list. And hopefully it's easier to get a car than it was to get a house. I don't think we'll be buying a brand new car because, well, my car, when I bought it in 2008, it was brand new and I've had problems with that car since day one. And so all of these ideals that I had in my head before about how if you buy a brand new car, at least you get some kind of guarantee, totally not so. Like, and I don't think I'll ever do that again, but we will be going out, you know, looking at brand new cars. And if there's something that we can't get used that we see new, then we'll think about it. That's essentially everything for our lives right now and pregnancy this week and all of that stuff. And so I will talk to you guys very, very soon. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I think that's all. Okay, so bye. <laughs>
Watching a bag of diapers go out every single week and go straight to a landfill and knowing that they were gonna sit there forever, that they're still sitting there today, that they'll still be sitting there the day that I die, I can't deal with that. It gives me a lot of anxiety. In society today, we've come to this point where we feel that we can just throw things away, just throw everything away. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's no such place as away. There's no away. It's all this planet that we live on and that our kids are gonna inherit from us. And that is really, really important to me. So yeah, nothing would ever stop me from, from cloth diapering. Kind of the main place where Joe has been having trouble is that we take him from being naked at home and having him do perfectly, do all of his pees and all of his poos on the potty or the toilet, be really, really proud of himself. And the second that we go out, we have to stuff him into a cloth diaper again. And he goes, oh, I'm in a diaper, so I may as well use it. You know, I think that the only thing that has been lacking in Joe's potty training journey is really just us giving him that consistency of like, from this point forward, it's never okay to pee in your pants. What's in the potty that stinks? Are you taking a picture? Of what? That's not dog poopoos, that's Joe poopoos.